Hey, ABW fans. Sorry, it's been so long you may not recognize me with uh, how different I look. I've got perfect hair now. Uh, I'm wearing glasses for the first time, I think, on screen, and I've got a perfect beard. But, indeed, it is still me, the savior of EBW. I am the owner of EBW. I am still the champion of EBW. And if we stop being modest for just a moment, let's be honest. I am EBW. Carrie had presented to you guys an update in the last video on our channel. My channel. It's an update he had no business providing, but here I am to provide my own. You may have noticed in the last episode of EBW that my house was broken into. The house that I host EBW for. The house that I sleep in. And you may have noticed that there are three people on my show who are not big fans of me, and they do not like me a lot at all and are able to get into my house and that's not safe. So I've put ABW on a hiatus until I can properly secure myself. Fortunately, that has more or less happened. You're gonna notice I'm gonna be playing with my hair a little bit because uh, I mean, how can't I? It's just perfect. Um, but that's neither here nor there. Sorry about the little interruption. Um, I don't feel safe in my house. Um, not entirely, but that's getting handled very soon. I tried to uh, remedy the situation personally without getting on camera, but unfortunately, EBW stands for Elite Backyard Wrestling, and in any wrestling show, and I mean any wrestling show, business gets handled in walking distance from where I sit right now. Nothing gets settled, personally. Everything is settled in the backyard where we wrestle as elites. Hence the name Elite Backyard Wrestling. Cool, anyway, so on that note, there is also the matter of who the EBW champion is. Is it Dex? Because technically he beat Austin Creed who's the EBW champion, no. Is it Psycho, who was supposed to be the guy who wrestled Austin for the EBW Championship? No. Is it Austin, who didn't lose the title to anyone he was supposed to be wrestling and therefore should still be champion? No. Is it me? Yes. Yes, it's me. I, he, Austin Creed lost that match by disqualification. He didn't beat me. The pin, the pin that he had covered me with after Carrie hit me with the camera... That's where the match ended. So the pin that followed is a... It didn't count. That's uh, after, after, that's post-match. He lost by disqualification. So he's not the champion. I'm the champion. But there's no amount of, like... Th there's no amount of, of ways that I can present that and say that. I can't say it enough. I can't say it loud enough. There's n no... You're, everyone's too stupid. Everyone is too stupid to understand. So, we need to make this definitive. We need to settle everything. I'll start by saying that my business is primarily between Austin and Carrie. Funnily enough, that's who it's always been between the three of us. All the way back from the beginning. The beginning being when I joined. Let's be honest, you weren't watching before that. And I care about EBW. I am EBW. So, how are we going to do this? There's not going to be a build. There's not going to be matches. No story. Nothing. At a date that we're going to uh, share, hopefully soon, I am going to host and present... EBW Retaliation Termination. Named so because it's the beginning of the end. It's the end of Kerry Grow. It's the end of Austin Creed. I'm going to leave both of them in ashes. But those are going to be separate matches. 
First on the card is going to be us. Nope. Johnny Burns versus Kerry Grow. Need that little pause there to emphasize that there's nothing that belongs between those two names, Kerry and Grow. Because he is nothing. Haha, <laughs> I'm so clever. So, that's going to be a match, a sanctioned match. And to ensure that Kerry plays by my rules and doesn't kill me. I have a stipulation, something for him to lose. If he wins, he can have EBW back. He can take ownership of it, he can have his baby back, and he can run it into the ground for all I care. That's not going to happen, because when I win, Carrie Grow will never, ever wrestle again. Not in EBW. Not anywhere. To be clear, let's go ahead and just be honest with ourselves here. You will never, ever see carry Animal grow ever again in a wrestling ring. Or, of course, whatever else he chooses to call himself. I'm not going to... I'm not going to offer him the opportunity to, like, change his name. Point is, Kerry is not allowed to wrestle if he, when he loses. And then after I defeat Kerry, after I terminate Kerry, that's why it's called termination, I'm so clever, I'm going to defend the EBW Championship against Austin Creed, and I'm going to defeat him, and I'm going to prove to everyone that I am still the EBW Champion. On that note, after that, I think, if I haven't already, I might just be the longest reigning EBW champion of all time. It's pretty incredible. Now, you may be wondering, what about Dex? Fuck him! Uh, he's none of my business. He didn't do anything wrong to me. I mean, uh, he's probably somewhere in my house. I'm honestly afraid to antagonize him, so kind of fuck him. Uh-huh. The fact of the matter is that in regards of getting the EBW championship in my hands and ensuring that it's my own, the only one of us who has an argument to be made about being EBW champion is Austin. Because, I mean, if he's not the champion, then he can't lose the title to anyone else. He beat me for the EBW championship, and I am just going to uh, undo that little false memory everybody has by defeating him uh so i don't really care about dex is the answer or psycho for that matter or jagger or again uh, honestly this one's on me those two guys that i promised would show up it's uh no no, no need to do no need to dwell on that one everyone just let that one pass everyone makes mistakes if we didn't where would ebw have come from um so yeah we are going to release the date, hopefully soon, for EBW Retaliation Termination. In there, you will see Kerry Grow versus Johnny Burns. Whenever I win, I'll go on and uh, continue wrestling, and uh, Kerry will not. If he wins, he won't. He gets EBW back. And then I will wrestle Austin Creed. When I win, I will be EBW champion. When he loses, you know, he'll just keep on being a loser. He'll be nothing after that. And then, from there, everything will be perfect. By the end of retaliation, we will all be right where we're supposed to be.